the outcome of the collective decision of the Sri Lanka Catholic Bishops' Conference, originates in 1995 in the context of the historic visit of His Holiness, Pope St. John Paul II, who came to Sri Lanka to take part in the beatification ceremony of the Venerable Father Joseph Was. The initial capital of the fund was obtained from the contribution made by the Holy Father towards the needs of the church in Sri Lanka. The trust was subsequently enhanced with the remaining funds after meeting the incurred expenses of the visit of the Roman Pontiff to Sri Lanka. The chairman of the Central Preparatory Committee, who also headed the Finance Committee for the papal visit, His Eminence Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit, the then Auxiliary Bishop of Colombo, recounts the events that led to the creation of St. Joseph Was Trust. was established way back in 1995 when uh, His Holiness Pope St. John Paul II visited Sri Lanka. Actually, it was a decision of the Bishops' Conference of Sri Lanka to turn the Finance Committee incomes into a trust fund. The Finance Committee incomes that were used to defray the costs of the Pope's visit and the balances. And with a donation that we received from His Holiness of $100,000, together with the balance cash, we established the first uh, funds of this trust. And the members of the finance committee of the receipt of His Holiness became the trustees. And this went on functioning until today. And in the meantime, several of our trustees have passed away and new trustees have joined us. And uh, what we do is that with this uh, cash that we continue to collect also through the other initiatives like Joy to the World, we continue to support financially many needy people, especially children who are helped in their education, and then uh, various uh, homes for children, orphanages and pressures and various other institutions that make appeals to us and also uh, regular grants are given through the network of dioceses in Sri Lanka to Caritas centers uh, so that they can use that money as a help for their projects and various types of projects are sent by these dioceses and also we engage in self-help programs where we assist people to stand on their own feet and also in the education of our youth. So this Joseph Pass Trust is rendering a human service to the poor and uh, it is uh, to raise funds for this good work that we are organizing the joint global concept. So we wish to thank all of you and also encourage you to help us continuously. We wish you a very happy and holy Christmas. God bless you. On the invitation of the Sri Lanka Catholic Bishops Conference, highly motivated and profoundly committed Catholic business personalities volunteered to serve on the board of trustees. Some of the members who now serve are the original trustees who from 1995 until today have been making many sacrifices to be actively involved in the diverse initiatives organized by the Trust under the guidance of His Eminence, Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit, the Archbishop of Colombo and the Chairman of the Trust. St. Joseph Pass Trust uh, Poverty Alleviation Program has done wonders with people from the north to the south, from east to west. That is, starting from Jaffna, going down to Gaul, uh, Otuville, uh, Arugambe area, and to, of course, Bharatpur, Nidambo, and all the places in the West. Ours is not just handing out money, ours is uh, creating livelihoods for people, especially in education. We have trained many uh, youth uh, in hospitality, uh, giving them uh, a way forward in life. Uh, they have come forward. Uh, and we train them and they are now gainfully employed in hotels both in Sri Lanka and overseas and similarly we have also given uh, money to the uh, diocese of uh, our country uh, to people to start up their own businesses and so it's simply a way of 
it's just not handing out money to people but finding a way forward with their life and Saint Joseph Wars Trust has helped many whose livelihoods have been an unbearably heavy burden under prevailing economic exigencies in the country. Saint Joseph Wars Trust, with its existing resources, always explores every possibility to increase health and uplift the living conditions of the poorest of the poor. Saint Joseph Wars Trust considers education of children as one of its top priority projects. The bulk of its funds are generally earmarked to sponsor the study needs of the school-going children and the youth. The selection process of the deserving persons is worked out in close consultation with the respective bishops of the 12 dioceses of the island. The trust annually allocates an average of 5 million rupees for various approved projects, each diocese receiving a disbursement. In the year 2018 alone, the annual grants from the trust reached a total of 4.7 million rupees. The only fundraising project of St. Joseph Bass Trust is the Joy to the World Christmas Concert, organized by the trust every year. There are many who willingly come forward to contribute by way of sponsorships, free performing items, and many other ways, according to their available resources, sacrificing time and talent out of sheer goodwill and magnanimity of heart. The proceeds of today's concert, like those of the previous years, will go to strengthen the trust further, enabling us to open out to many others whose needs are greater than ours. You're joining us today, this evening, for this Christmas carols concert has invariably meant much to those who benefit from the trust. Saint Joseph was, who often had to trek through jungle paths and face perils of all kinds to reach his little flock, surely continues to accompany his people, even today, through his prayerful intercession before God which the Universal Church officially recognized by raising him to sainthood through His Holiness, Pope Francis, in January 2015. St. Joseph Bar's Trust, which operates through the kind and caring deeds of brotherly love, the saint practiced so heroically in our land, can intensify still powerfully emulating his matchless example in our present times. You're joining us today this evening for this Christmas concert has invariably meant much to us and to those who benefit from the trust. We record our deep thanks to all the members of the trust who throw their weight behind this worthy cause in allegiance to the founding aspirations of the original members, some of whom are already gone to the eternal reward. We wish them heavenly bliss, which the Lord promised for those who remain faithful to the end. We owe a very special thank you to His Eminence Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit, the Archbishop of Kalapo, for taking pains and personal interest in espousing and expanding.